Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I made a video and today's video is kind of special. I've uh, been thinking about doing this for a while but uh, finally getting to it. So today we're going to look at how to create isolated VS Code environments. So uh, to tell you what that means, if I show you this regular VS Code, uh, it looks pretty normal. Uh, there's the default dark theme, couple of uh, extensions that I've installed and uh, nothing exciting about this one but if I open uh, customize waste code you see uh, the theme is different, the uh, font uh, weight is different uh, the extensions themselves have actually migrated all of those so extensions are pretty much the same but the thing is this is completely isolated from the other one and any changes that I make here are going to be completely separate from the default uh, VS code so let's see how we can do this. So to begin with, uh, let I've created a directory in my. I'm using Linux, and this works basically everywhere. So what I've done is I've created this hidden folder called VS Code Profiles, and uh, and you can put this anywhere you want. I just uh, put it in my home directory. So if I uh, check uh, what's in that directory, this is the customized VS Code that I made there. So for this video, let's create uh, another one. So uh, we need uh, basically two directories for this, uh, or rather nested directories. So we'll call our uh, a profile sample. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. And uh, we need two directories. So within sample, we need one which is the data for VS Code, and the other is the extensions that are going to get installed. So uh, make there with the p switch uh, creates both the parent and its subdirectories. So now if I do a tree of uh, sample, sample has two subdirectories, uh, data and extensions. Now if I want to use uh, VS Code to store its data and extension in this path, uh, what I can do is I can do code uh, and then give it the user data directory the path which is sample dot slash sample data and the place where we want to put its extension as sample slash extensions uh, so now if I open that this will look like a very default VS code because uh, by default it picked the dark theme which is good and then there are no extensions installed so if I do at installed uh, there's nothing because we just created this so now if we check the tree again uh, there, there might have been a couple of directories that VS Code created so yeah it starts storing stuff within data and extensions uh, this is still empty so now uh, rather than writing the long command to open VS Code every time uh, what we can do is create this as an alias so to do that let's uh, and since these are relative paths if you try to open uh, if you try to run this command from anywhere this might not work this won't work actually so what you should rather do is create uh, add uh, absolute paths so here we'll just paste the actual path so this and this still works the same way there are no uh, in extensions installed and no changes to the settings so we can put this as an alias so for me uh, I can put it in my uh, main SH that runs every time I open a new shell so you see I've already created the other one so here let's make it an alias and let's call it sample code name it whatever you want so now uh, when I restart my shell uh, I should see sample code which is alias to that directory and if I open so if I go back let me open this directory itself so now this is that customized isolated VS code uh, and I've just opened the VS code profiles directory so that's pretty much it on how to create the uh, customized uh, uh, VS code 
but what you would uh, also want to do is migrate your uh, few of the extensions that you want uh, from the uh, old VS Code that you had into this one. So one way to do this is uh, just manually installing them which uh, is kind of boring. So what we can rather do is if I do a code and then do a list extension it gives me a list of extensions that are installed in that particular profile. So and uh, what I've done is I've put all of those in a gist uh, here but what I can do is let me pick a uh, few of them so here in my sample let me just create a new file so let's open VS code and this file extensions txt and let's just paste the extensions that you want to install and if you look at VS Code's marketplace, let's say we were looking at Python this is the extension ID that we want so if I want to install Python, I simply copy this Control C, Command C and then paste it here, so that's how it will get installed so now, um, it, w it won't get installed, we'll just, uh, we'll show, I'll show you how to install it uh, we're just writing what we want to install first so for now let's just for sake of this demo uh, install only a few uh, and yeah this is my theme that I want so I'm installing that as well and uh, let's say all we want is these extensions to get installed so now if I do a uh, cat of that file extensions.txt these are the extensions that I want to install so uh, what I can do is I can run a for loop and update the path here so here what I've done is uh, for every uh, line in my extension the txt I'm going to run this command and this is different so this is sc uh, this is uh, going to install that extension so if I comment this line and do ls of extension oh my bad meant to do echo so if I do that uh, for every iteration of the for loop I get the uh, name of the extension or rather the ID so what I can do then is do sc install so it will install that extension within that profile so to prove this actually works let's uh, first let me show you what's inside the extensions directory so here uh, this currently extensions directory is empty so now if I run this it's going to install each of the extension so we'll wait for that to finish and uh, once that's done we'll do an ls again so what VS Code does is it creates uh, directories for each extension and this probably is the last one wait for that to finish and then so now if I do X ls again you see all those extensions with their uh, versions got created and if I open VS Code, my customized VS Code, uh, you'll see in the extensions list there are six that got installed. Great. So basically, we've migrated our extensions as well. One thing that we also want to migrate is our uh, settings.json, so which is which is basically customizing VS Code to look the way you want so to do that what I'm going to do is first I'm going to cat this file so if I showed you when I showed you my uh, WT code uh, um, profile I had uh, the uh, theme and everything so let me cat this file so this is basically this is very lightly modified VS code so this is all the things that I've changed so what I can do is I can copy that file into this directory so I'm already in sample so I, I need to copy it to data and slash uh, user settings.json so when I do that and I open uh, sc so by default sc was using dark theme for VS Code now since I've uh, specified it needs to use uh, this color theme and I've also migrated my uh, theme extension it's going to pick up that theme hopefully 
yeah so now you see this also it picked up the theme that we wanted and basically that's how you create customized profiles for VS Code and uh, for good measure let's just open a code sample so here so this is the isolated VS Code with migration of the old extension into the new one and also putting your uh, VS Code settings uh, from the old one and uh, what I've done is uh, created a gist so you can maintain your own uh, uh, settings like this so a list of extensions that you are using and uh, settings that you've modified so yeah that was a quick video on how to do VS Code uh, isolated profiles I uh, hope you liked it uh, share it with your friends and uh, yeah see you soon bye bye